Hi there trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kurt's Fusion Ball Mount with a fixed 2 inch rise. These are available in either a 1 and 7 8 inch ball with a 5,000 pound capacity or with a 2 inch ball at a 7,500 pound capacity. Both are going to be designed to work with a 2 inch hitch. And here we can see our ball mount in action. We're currently showing off the 1 and 7 8 inch ball model but there's not going to be any difference between the 1 and 7 8 inch and the 2 inch model other than the size of the ball and the capacity that's associated with that ball. Uh, the 1 and 7 8 is going to be about 2,500 pounds less than the 2 inch ball. But what you can see here is how nice this ball mount looks. Your typical ball mount has a hole in it and you have to have an appropriately sized ball to match up with the hole size in your draw bar here and then you would bolt those together and that would leave a pretty large nut sticking out here at the bottom. With this fully welded design here it's a much cleaner look because our balls just welded right onto the attachment so it's nice and smooth here on bottom we don't see anything there's nice powder coat finish on everything and a lot of times those nuts and the ball shank get corroded and they don't look very nice so if you're, if you're looking for a cleanliness design uh, this is a really good clean option here the only drawback that i see with this is if you have maybe multiple vehicles that you like to haul with and your trailer is going to stay the same height but the other vehicle you have might be a much taller vehicle it might be like a truck and you want to swap this over to the drop position to be able to use that vehicle you're not going to be able to with this one versus the standard draw bar since this is permanently fixed but this is a really good option if we look at it here you can see again that welded design if you don't have the tools at home to be swapping your balls around and stuff like that and you just need a draw bar that's going to work in your vehicle this is just take it out of the box and then use the included hitch pin and clip to secure it to your receiver and then you're ready to go and you don't ever have to think about uh, torquing these down and checking the tightness over time because it's always recommended to check your fasteners after so many miles of use not with this one it's permanently affixed so it's just set it and forget it Vehicles like the Subaru that we've got here sit pretty low to the ground and they're best affixed with lighter trailers such as the ones we're showing off here. The 1 and 7 8 trailers are often being pulled by these smaller vehicles and with the hitch so low to the ground, oftentimes in order to get a, a level trailer, you'll need to have a rise for these smaller hitches. And we can see here that when we're hooked up, we do have a slight decline here towards the back we're slightly higher in the front but our trailer is completely unloaded so that's pretty much what we're looking for is to have it slightly higher in the front in an unloaded condition and then when you load your trailer down it levels out completely and where we're at now this trailer doesn't take a very heavy load and we're only slightly higher in the front so that should be about perfect once we get a few kayaks and on the back of this trailer and with the respectable weight capacity that these ball mounts have to offer with 5,000 pounds on our 1 and 7 eighths and 7,500 pounds on the 2 inch, you could still get some work done with these as well. So we're not limited to just water sports there with a smaller carrier. We could easily put on a larger trailer on here, a little utility trailer and get some work done. Whether we're loading up maybe some lawn equipment to go get some work done at some place or maybe you just got to get rid of some trash you want to get rid of or maybe you got a load of mulch here in the back you're going to bring home for some yard work. You have plenty of capacity there at the back to be able to hook up a trailer and do so with it as well. And with the two inch ball and its 7,500 pound capacity, you'd even have enough there to be able to haul something like a pop-up camper here or even a full size camper with that kind of capacity. Now you do want to verify in your vehicle's owner's manual and ensure you don't exceed any of its towing capacities. Each ball mount is going to have a respective tongue weight at about 10% for our 5,000 capacity on the one and seven eighths inch ball, our tongue weight is gonna be 500 pounds. And on the two inch ball with a 7,500 pound towing capacity, it'll have a tongue weight of 750 pounds. Your draw bar will attach to your hitch using the included hitch pin and clip. Since this is for a two inch receiver, you get a five eighths inch hitch pin and clip included with it. Now, even though it comes with one, I do recommend that you upgrade to a locking hitch pin and clip to protect your investment so that way nothing ends up walking away from your vehicle. When you're ready to hook up your trailer, it's as easy as getting your ball inserted into your hitch, getting that secured. We can then bring our trailer up here onto the back. We've unhooked the coupler, so it's unlatched here. That'll just drop down on top. We'll latch it into place, secure it with your pin if you have one. Then we'll hook up our safety chains. Now these ones here are gonna be secured at the center by the same point, but if they're secured on each side of your trailer, you would wanna cross those. So you'd hook up the driver's side to the passenger side and vice versa to create an X. 
That X shape will create a cradle here at the front, so if you did have a catastrophic disconnect, it holds your coupler off the pavement. And then lastly, you just want to hook up your electrical connector. And now that we've got everything hooked up, at this point we're ready to load up our trailer and hit the road. And that completes our look at Kurt's Fusion Ball Mount with fixed 2-inch rise.